are being slow. Look, we won. I won by, I won, got 81 million votes, uh, more than anybody's ever gotten. Because, and thank you for those who you helped me. You know, we still only ended up with 50 senators, which means that we have 50 presidents. And what? The is we have 48 out of 50 senators vote with me 95% of the time, more than any president has gotten that kind of support from their, from their constituency. But we made this one up. It's a made up tale. Here's where we are. We have the fastest growing economy in the world. The world. The world. It's a total fabrication. It never happened. We have 8.6 million new jobs just since I got in office. It never happened. This one was invented by a writer. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We've reduced the deficit last year by $320 billion. This year, we're going to reduce it by $1.7 trillion. Trillion dollars. Right. Not this time. Should anybody, anybody of you in the, in the audience know anybody who has to take insulin every month because they have sure. type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes? Well, guess what? They're charging as high as 1000 bucks a month in some places, average $647 a month on average. Well, if I pass what I want to get done, which we can do, and we can do it relatively easy, it's not going to cost more than $35 a month. It costs these companies... No, no, I, I'm not... The, the, this is not, as our friends on Fox would say, socialism. This is very practical. They have... I've worked with a lot of honorable Republicans, very conservative Republicans over the year when I was a senator. But this is the MAGA gang. This is the MAGA crowd. I really mean it. They have a fundamentally different view of the role of government and who should pay what. This is MAGA And all of it's an embodiment of so many of you here today. Leaders in civil rights like Karen Nagasaki and, uh, and Karen uh, Korematsu. Where, where are you? Where are the Karens? There you go. Have you decided, sir, whether to go to Saudi Arabia? No, not yet. What would be the uh, holding up the decision at this point? Are there commitments you're waiting for from the Saudis or on the negotiations over peace? No, no. The commitments from the Saudis don't relate to anything having to do with energy. It happens to be a large immediate taking place in Saudi Arabia. That's the reason I'm going. And it has to do with national security for them, for Israelis. I have a program. Anyway, it has to do with much larger issues than having to do with the energy.